Okay, you ready? Yes, indeed, Mrs. P. All right. I'm ready to go. All right, I am too. <laughs> the last person you'd expect to see at the controls, traveling at 100 miles per hour, 1,500 feet in the air. But in this part of the country, just outside of Annapolis, Maryland, 82-year-old Florence Parlett is the grand lady of the air. I call her Amelia Parlett. Uh, the only thing she uh, she doesn't have, I guess, is the, uh, the silk scarf and the leather flying helmet. <laughs> Her friends and the hundreds of students that have been a part of her flying school are amazed at her determination, but to them, she is simply Mrs. P, a little old lady in the flying machine. My husband said I should act my age, but uh, somehow another my age <laughs> didn't call for that. <laughs> and uh, I'd, I'd always had the desire to, uh, to fly, and uh, I wasn't expecting to run any airport, but I just wanted to fly. For 30 years, Mrs. P has operated Lee Airport, a setting for some unusual aviation trivia. Universal Pictures came here in 1978 to film Alan Alda and Meryl Streep in The Seduction of Joe Tynan. For the flying sequence, Mrs. P hid in the back seat, controlling the aircraft for the two stars and helping Ms. Streep with her lines. So when she went to get in, why, she said to Alda, she said, you don't mind if I drive, do you? And he said, no, go ahead. And I said, drive? I said, you fly an airplane, you don't drive an airplane. In 1959, Mrs. P was visited at Lee by a future first lady and future president. We had uh, Jacqueline Kennedy, and she came down with her husband, and uh, they came down to see Governor Taj. Most of Mrs. P's favorite stories, though, are about everyday people on their first solo flights. We had just one student that, uh, it was um, a little bit hard at uh, getting the knack of flying, but uh, his instructor finally thought, well, I guess he can fly himself by the, around the pattern anyway. He uh, made a fast turn somewhere because he couldn't find the airport again. And uh, <laughs> we didn't see him for a little while, and out of a while we saw this little coat come blazing in and light on the runway, and a fellow jumped out and ran up to the in front of the uh, hangar there, he said, what airport is this? And he said, it's the airport. Oh, he said, I'm so glad. <laughs> so his instructor told him to take up tennis. <laughs> With nine grandchildren and five great-grandchildren, there is plenty of help in running things at Lee. Most of it is handled by Mrs. P's three sons, Tom, Jack, and Don. Mrs. P's eldest son crashed and was killed while piloting a plane a tragic reminder of the danger and daring of flying. You just feel free when you get up there. And if you've got a lot of problems on the ground, you can get up there and get rid of them. So many people are just so amazed at the, how pretty it looks up there. And I don't take them up on the real paltry days when it bangs them around, you know. I save that for myself. <laughs> <laughs> to the outsider, Lee seems part airport and part museum. There are airplanes here as priceless and valuable as the memories they evoke. For Florence Parlett, 82 years young, the memories are sweet, but the flying is grand. That's it.